Hi everybody, today we're going to learn about 45-45-90 triangles. They're called special right triangles. There are two kinds of special right triangles and the first ones are 45-45-90 triangles. So hopefully you printed out the worksheet that says 45-45-90 triangles or you're writing it by hand if you don't have a printer. It says if you take a square, here's a square, four right angles, four congruent sides, and cut it in half along the diagonal, like this. The two triangles formed are called isosceles right triangles or 45, 45, 90 triangles. If this is a 90 degree angle and we cut it in half, each one is 45 degrees. So it's called a 45, 45, 90 triangle because these angles are 45 and this is 90 and these sides are the same because it was a square. It's an isosceles right triangle or a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So there's a theorem that's called the 45, 45, 90 triangle theorem and it tells us about the relationships between the sides of the triangle. In a 45, 45, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is rad two times as long as each leg. So the legs are both x, they're the same. And this is x times radical two times the square root of two. So if you know the legs, you multiply by radical two to find the hypotenuse. If you know the hypotenuse, then you divide by radical two to find the legs. And that's all it is. So we're going to do some examples. Example one, we have a three. This would be a three over here as well because this 45 shows that this is also a 45 and it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So it would be an isosceles right triangle. And if this is three, then what do we do to find the hypotenuse? It's three times radical what? because that's what the theorem says above. It's radical two times the hypot um, times each leg. So example two, this one doesn't have 45 degree angles. It does, but you don't see them. It just shows it's an isosceles right triangle. So you know you can use the theorem six, six, and then y is six radical two, six times the square root of two. You multiply the leg by the square root of two. Example three. This time it's an isosceles right triangle because it has the isosceles marks for the sides. So it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And the hypotenuse is x rad two. So this time you take seven rad two and you divide it by radical two. And what cancels? So we get seven, 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 seven radical two. The relationship is one, one, rad two. That's the relationship between the sides. X, X, X rad two, one, one, one rad two. That's the relationship between the sides of the triangle. Here's example four, B, B, and then eight. So what do you do with the eight? You divide by radical two. And we don't usually leave it like this. We multiply by the radical, the square root that's in the denominator. So we multiply by square root of two over square root of two. Because square root of two times square root of two is square root of four, which is two. So when you multiply a radical by itself, a square root by itself, it cancels. So it's just two, and then we have eight square root of two. And eight over two is four square root of two. And if you wanted to check, you could take four square root of two. You could take four square root of two and multiply it times square root of two, because that's what it says we can do. You can take the leg and multiply it by square root of two to get the hypotenuse. 
and you get 4 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4 and square root of 4 is 2 so we get back to 8 example 5 the hypotenuse is 9 radical 6 and we only do it in 45 45 90 triangles so this is a right triangle and these are it's isosceles, so these are 45 degree angles. They're the same. So you take the 9 radical 6 and you divide it by radical 2. You either multiply by radical 2 or you divide by radical 2. That's what you do. So 6 over 2 is 3. So 9 radical 3 is the length for C. And I didn't put a C on here. So C is one of the legs, okay? So C is one of the legs. I'll make sure I fix that for you guys. And then lastly, the last example is five radical two is one of the legs. It's a 45, 90, and so this would be 45. So you take five radical two and you multiply it times radical 2 and you get 5 times 2 which is 10 so D is 10 you multiply by radical 2 when you have the leg and you want the hypotenuse if you have the hypotenuse and you want the leg you divide by radical 2 those are your two choices multiply by radical 2 or divide by radical 2 so I'll put up the homework for you and um, you can work it out. You can draw it on your own piece of paper. Make sure you draw the figures. There's not a lot of work to show, but sometimes there is a little bit of work to show. Okay? Thank you very much. This is going to be due on Wednesday at 10 a.m. and then I'll post the next lesson. Okay, thank you.